Miss Kaysen, what are you wearing today? What am I wearing today? Okay, so my top is from White House Black Market. Belt is from Gucci. Pants are just black. And shoes are Gianna, Gianni Beanie from Dillard's. Your hair always looks so fire. Who does your hair, Miss Kaysen? <laughs> Who does my hair? So the one and only DJ Williams from DJ and Company. Always making my hair look good. Thank you, Miss Kaysen. <laughs> Today we're here with Coach Marnell, and we're doing his fit check. All right, what do we have on the top? We have the LHS Soccer Jordan Polo. The slacks? Old Navy brand, light gray. I love it. Shoes? These are my Sanook surfing shoes. They are some great moccasins, very, very comfortable. And then look at and the socks. The stance socks with my man Jerry West on them. And then I see the watch. He always got the watch on. Apple Watch. Apple this Watch. Is the red edition. All right. All right, thank you. So I'm here today with police officer Roach, and we're gonna do his fit check. All right. So where we get the hat from? Uh, the government of Georgia. Government of Georgia. Yeah. Uh, what about the shirt? Uh, clean polo. Again, government of Georgia. Government of Georgia. Yeah. Belt. Belt. Rude. Uh, anyway, um, duty belt. Duty belt. Supplied by the citizens of Georgia. Yes. Pants. Citizens of citizens Georgia. Of Georgia. What, about, yeah. what about the shoes? What about the shoes? Citizens of citizens Georgia. Citizens of Georgia. Yes. They're coming through. We're here with Miss Epps. And we're doing her fit check. All right, so what do we have on the top? Oh, we have a soccer sweatshirt that I designed. Okay. Bottom? Old Navy. Old Navy. The shoes? The socks? Am I wearing socks? Jeans. Oh, oh, oh. Jeans. She is wearing socks. Okay. Jeans. 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 All right. And my lanyard is from Vera Bradley. Thank you. You're welcome. What was your favorite game of the season? Josie Butler. Thank you. Let's go. What's your favorite game of the basketball season? Rockdale. Period. What was your favorite game of the basketball season? Uh, when we played Greenbrier here. Uh, I think Brunswick here. We had 34 against New Hampstead. Okay, so today we're here with Dan. And we're going to see who can win in the push-up challenge. All right, y'all ready? All right. Yeah, same time. They're, they're backing up a little bit. You might have ups. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He was going too fast. Dr. McCoy, what's your spirit animal? I would be a tiger. Because if you know, you know. By the way, shout outs to Evan Neal. Thank you, Evan Neal. Mr. Birch, what's your spirit animal? I think my spirit animal is the owl because an owl is very perceptive and knows the deeper meaning of life. That's really good. Looks like you did some research on that. It just happened to three minutes ago, yes. My name is Anna Jean Oster and I'm representing Eleanor Roosevelt. As first lady, she held press conferences just for female reporters. She created homes and jobs for African-American coal miners who had lost their jobs in West Virginia. 1938, she quit an organization called the Daughters of the American Revolution after they wouldn't allow African-American singer Marian Anderson to perform. Roosevelt then arranged for her to sing at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, DC. Roosevelt changed what it meant to be first lady using her influence to help other Americans. And even after her husband died in 1945, other presidents wanted her help as well. President Harry S. Truman, who became president after Roosevelt, sent her as a delegate to the United Nations. There she served as chairman of the Commissions of Human Rights and helped write the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which lists all the fundamental human rights that must be protected. Every March, people in the United States celebrate the achievements and history of women as part of Women's History Month. Educators in Santa Rosa, California first celebrated Women's History Week in March 1978 to increase awareness of women's contributions to society. Organizers selected a week in early March to correspond with International Women's Day on March 8th. Over the next several years, other cities across the country joined Santa Rosa in celebrating Women's History Week. In 1980, U.S. President Jimmy Carter declared the week of March 8th National Women's History Week, urging everyone in the United States to participate. According to Carter, too often the women were unsung and sometimes their contributions were unnoticed. But the achievements, leadership, courage, strength, and love of the women who built America was as vital as that of the men whose names we know so well. 
The week-long event officially became a month-long one in 1987 when Congress passed a resolution designating March as Women's History Month. Women's History Month has been celebrated in the United States ever since. Oh, hey, Lincoln. Do you have pride? Yeah, I do. What's pride stand for? Personal responsibility, integrity, determination, and excellence. There it is. Cooper. Oh, what's going on? Do you have Panther Pride? Of course. What does Pride stand for? Personal responsibility, integrity, determination, <laughs> and excellence. There it is. Student Council. Officer applications must be due March 22nd. March 29th, Dramatic Writing Session, Room 103, Seamus Easterling with questions. Link your applications are open to rising juniors and seniors. Seniors, make sure to vote for your superlatives, prom king and queen, and your graduation speaker. Voting ends April 18th at 5 p.m. Seniors, make sure you RSVP for movie night. April 18th at 7 p.m. Dance interest meeting, March 29th in room 208, 3 to 330. English tutoring, Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 245 to 330 in room 209. We've got math and science tutoring in room 303 on Mondays and room 226 on Thursdays. That's from 245 to 335. All are welcome. Remember to visit the Lakeside page on YouTube at the Lakeside Show.